Think about it this way. There is just a ridiculous amount of fantastic, fabulous, absolutely creative, into the core of God uh, content out there. It's just too much of it. And so when you put in a little more astonishing content into this mix, your content won't matter. Uh, unless it does. And there's actually one rule where content starts mattering more than other content, regardless of how creative and fantastic it is. And so the first rule in the five C's of viral marketing is within the creativity space. And that's why I've decided to lay it in uh, or under the headline creativity. Now, what it is, is, is this. Imagine that I'm talking to myself and I've just seen a video on YouTube and I'm telling someone about this story. That conversation would go a little bit like this. Hi Jasper, have you seen this, you know, fantastic video on YouTube? Yes. As you can see, that was not much of conversation, you know, and if this would happen online, that would probably be a post to someone's wall and a comment, yes, of recognition. Now, this will not spread that much. The algorithms will not start loving this. People will not find this interesting looking at this, you know, it would just be a post and a confirmation. However, if you manage to implant something I call a story about the story, then, well, something else happens. Let me show you an example of this. Hi Jasper, did you see this video on YouTube? It's awesome, right? Yes. Uh, did you know that he only had one safety line? You know, when they, when they did this? Did you know that? What? Only one safety line? Yeah, and did you know that it was shot in one take? Did you, did you know that? Did you know that it was shot in one take? No, no, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Did you know that? Did you know that? Did you... There is this thing called, did you know that? And just from the examples that you saw now, as I was talking, every single manufactured viral campaign throughout the, you know, last five, six years have been infested with these stories about the story. And the reasons why they go viral is because people have something to actually discuss about them. I have a reason to talk about this clip and not that the clip is interesting, but I become interesting when I talk about it. This is a very important and a key concept when making creative material go viral. I should be able to pull out the detail that I call the story about the story and then I am supposed to be able to post that to my wall, share that in my blog, send a text message to my friend, you know. When I talk about your content, I need to be interesting, not your content. Your content can be as creative as it wants to be, but it will always be competing against people getting married and a monkey shooting an AK-47. So that is your problem. So you, you're like, as a creative, you need to think of ways in which you can make a person be, cre like, be interesting when they talk about your stuff, not your stuff, because your stuff will be seen just like if you advertise it, right? People will watch it, will be entertained. Now, why should I talk about your content? And most of all, why should I think about sharing your content when I'm watching it? Well. The natural rule there is it makes me interesting to talk about it. So that is the story about the story. And I will, you know, now post some video clips here that will make you recognize and think about what was the story about the story uh, about those.